Welcome to Trading Lounge and the European indices and starting with the DAX here on the daily chart. And I think it's interesting really because um, the European markets, we've got this intermediate wave three already in play here. Um, but for the US markets, we haven't got that in play yet. Um, I mean, normally the US markets are leading and um, we can see that certainly with the, with the NASDAQ um, leading uh, higher. Um, but it, yeah, it hasn't um, it hasn't got this top in here yet. It's it will probably have it in this week. But even so, um, it puts this market like a long way in front. Um, you know, with all these days here um, in front of the U.S. market. So I think that's kind of interesting, and it sort of I have to scratch my head about it a little bit. Um, but um, yeah, and of course the Asian markets are sort of uh, got a few. Uh, discrepancies, discrepancies as well where the Australian markets can be um, in this space here while we're seeing some of the other markets in Asia uh, still topping out as well but look anyway um, it is what it is and um, this stage here um, where we've had this wave three top in and we're looking at this as an A wave here we understood this this pattern here for the B wave as a corrective wave so we should be looking at wave C to the downside here that's playing out nicely, and then we'll see a wave B, um, but um, and then wave C down. But the thing is also too is that wave fours here can get quite complicated. I've done this as a very simple A wave and a B wave and a C wave. So, you know, don't take, <clears throat> don't you know, don't get locked on this particular pattern that I'm sort of looking at here um, as, as such. So the first thing that we normally need to find out. Um, with with patterns here is that when we come down for the A wave here an A wave can be in three waves yep or it can be in um, five waves coming down and this is really important here because um, there are 11 or 12 uh, different types of corrections in Elliott and the way to sort of pretty much halve that those so dozen uh, corrections is to find out if the the A wave here is in three waves or it's in five waves um, because that way we'll be able to at least half them so I don't know if this A wave here is actually going to be wave one down here wave two here wave three here coming back for wave four and then having wave five coming down here so I don't know what that's going to be just yet and I won't know that until I can see a little bit more of this um, pattern here and um, within that as well, uh, it won't be until this rally comes up here for the fourth wave and the fifth wave. So it'll be in the fourth wave here. Um, as such, we'll be able to sort of start to figure that out a little bit. But look, this is the general sort of pattern here. And um, yeah, so we've got all of this wave four coming into Christmas time. So it's kind of interesting, really, we'll be able to have a bit of a break in Christmas um, because we won't really be in, um, in in a big trend as such to the downside. Um, we will be bearish, but um, we'll be um, hopefully stuck in um, you know, in this wave B here somewhere, which would be complicated and sticking to the 13,000, so to speak. Um, yeah, so with this here, just drilling, I'll just go straight into the hourly chart um, here and pick up that low here. And this will be the same for most of the other European markets as well. So from the top of wave three here, we've got this move down here is the A wave, and we've definitely got this B wave here as a corrective wave because we've got overlapping uh, wave structures uh, within this um, within this move across here. So um, there is just a little catch with all of this as well, unfortunately, and this is the problem of being in, in corrective waves rather than impulse waves, um, is that um, the move, we know that eight is always a strong number, isn't it? it it's, um, uh, you know, one is the strongest, then five, then eight, then three, um, in, in according to me. <laughs> and, um, it, you know, it's always a good solid support. It's a nice, not only in a whole number, it's an even number as well. Um, so we always call it a profit-taking number before we see a, uh, you know, reversal from that point. The problem here is that, I've, you can see I've got wave B grade out here. It's possible that... Um, that we um, I'm expecting a move up um, but how far up I'm, I'm a little bit unsure it's possible that 
um, we can actually have a, um, a, a stronger move up through to here, back up to these old highs here, which is a little bit unfortunate if you've got shorts here, but that was part of the problem in taking shorts here that that never had the 13,000 as a retested resistance. So we've got the breakthrough here, and then we've got the retest up to here, and then the markets come down again. So what this does now, I've got this, um, this move segment here. So I've got this here now, which um, we'll be able to put up in he here further, um, up here I'm sure, um, but I'll just leave it there for the time being. Um, so we're either going to get in this space here, we're either going to get some sort of A, B and C into the 61.8% mark here and then drop from here, <clears throat> or we're going to get something a little bit higher here. I just don't know at this particular stage. I think it's the first one here, um, but we'd need to see. The other point here too, if I can go back to the, the driver for this really will be the US market. So. If I go back to the S&P 500 here, this is the hourly chart here, and um, we're looking for wave four here, up to wave five here to get its wave three up here. So remember the DAX has already got its wave three up here a long time ago. Um, so in this little structure here, just to give you an idea, if we go to the tick chart here, 100 ticks, we can pick it up from this wave four here, and then we're looking up for wave five here. So it appears we've got wave one and two in play here. So we'll look for three and four across the old highs here, and then a move up here. So we could have this pretty much wrapped up this week. Um, so there's not a lot to go in, in all of this. So we need to line up what, what can, you know, this could scoot along quite nicely here, where the, um, where the DAX here being close to the 13,000 here will be really pulled by this. So I just expect choppy waters to be in here. So I don't really see any really trading opportunities here yet. I mean, what we really need to see is we need to see this market move up into this space here and then eventually next week find the 13,000 as a retested resistance where we can get this um, trigger here sort of much closer up into this space here. That's what we'll be looking for. So I don't really see any opportunities here, um, even though we should be moving up here. I think that they will be a little bit, um, a little bit, um, you know, choppy. Um, it will probably prove me wrong, but um, as it does when you open your gob, but, you know, logically um, it shouldn't be going too far, but it should be held up as well here. But at the same time, um, if these lows get taken out here, you need to be short. But you also need to use your noggin here as well, because if the market comes down here, it's just going to bounce off here and then eventually move through here and move back here. So it doesn't really matter where you get in. It's like just knowing that there's, you know, if you're going to get in at, at eight here, well, expect to carry a loss on the bounce, you know, um, or, or wait for the bounce, you know. Um, all these sort of things and you can also break uh, you know we're looking at a minor level eight here you could break it down into sub levels and also micro levels as well so this is the same for the um, AEX unfortunately as well but um, so what we mean by this is that we've got it nicely at the moment we've got this down as five waves here we've got an A wave and a B wave and a C wave here and we were looking for that to pull back to you know, the stock standard uh, 50, 60% mark, which we've got here. It didn't pull back to the right up to the 61.8% mark here, but uh, close to it. Um, but what we might see here, um, this is just one of the things, is that this could be the B wave here. This comes over to here, and this becomes the A wave here, the B wave here, and the C wave up here in five waves. So I don't know if it's going to be the case. I don't think it's the case, um, but we can't rule it out. So um, it doesn't really matter that much. What we can do is just sort of logically think it out in terms of strategy. So if I copy that and put that here, that would be the short trade at this point. Okay. The other point here that we can look at too, if there's going to be some sort of rally in line with the US markets, is that we can look at where that's going to um, rally to and if we take that top and this low here then we can look at the 
well, we can see it all across here, really, can't we? So it's nice. So it's already, it's not like an empty space we're just filling in. So this consolidation here has got a history, and that's where we can expect it to. So it's possible, if I can just remove this now, um, it's highly possible that this just goes basically up to the 542 area here and then fails and move down. But at the same time, if it moves above the 540 here, that's kind of good in a way because when it comes back down, we want to see it retesting here and then that will be the short trade coming in here. We need that reference point there. So then we'll be able to keep that there because uh, we can add a point to add to later, but then we'll be looking for another closer move up through here. So. Um, in a nutshell, this was all, um, you know, it, it, this was part of the corrective move here, which was support, and then now we're looking for it to become resistance, and it's just not, because of where the US markets are, it's just not going to be a simple um, exercise, it's just going to be a little bit more complicated, but that's okay, we can work through that, just takes patience, and knowing it is complicated, then you can accommodate it um, financially with in, in risk terms and also emotionally uh, as well. So um, let's just see how that pans out. And the FTSE is much the same as well in that um, um, it's moved down here. But in this case here, I see it more as a bearish pattern. So that's why I think that um, we're kind of on the right track in, in, in our first instance. And in this case here, um, we've got this move down, it's the same as the other markets, and then we've had this move across here as the A, the B, and the C. It could be the B wave or wave two here, and the same A and one here, not that it matters that much. Um, so this move that's come down through here, we can look at this in, in a five wave move here. And as I mentioned last week, um, is that if the 7,300 here becomes the retested resistance here, then um, then we you know we look to short it from that point. But I figured that we will be looking for a rally back to seven four here in three waves. So that's still on, um, and we can look to short it back up in this space um, here as well. So um, I'll just copy that. Folks still might be short here, but either way, with all of this here is that um, we wanted to keep the stop out the way here. So you can take. You know, part profit down here if you wanted to, or you can hold out, do whatever you need to do. But um, we have to expect a rally to come back into close to the 74 there. Um, there's two sets of resistance, or well, there's three really. There's a, there's a midpoint here, 50, and of course, with this little square block here is where supply is, which is sellers, and of course, also these blocks here. So they're, they're really the mirrors that's going to occur over here. Um, as such, but yeah, look, I don't know. I don't see any long trades here. I just see us, you know, preparing for um, short trades uh, here. But if you're um, if you're long, if you're short in this market here, then you might want to go um, just to hedge this a little bit. Go go long in one of the other markets. Um, perhaps not the DAX because it's sitting at the thirteen thousand, but maybe maybe the NASDAQ or, or even an American stock or something, you know, something just to balance the books while this transition plays out or just exit and, um, uh, yeah, take it from that point. All right, I'll leave it um, at that. But, um, yeah, just to recap a little bit, um, you know, corrective rallies is what we're looking for um, for the first part of this week. Um, so, yeah, don't end up with a whole lot of small losses, so to speak, for trying to trade it up. Okay, cheers.